somebody please explain to me. I painted my nails yesterday and they look nice. They look nice, they look nice. When you get a closer look, they're chipped already. Yeah, it's my fault, but also why? Why? They're so pretty, but they're already chipped. They're already chipped. Welcome to another video. If you're watching this, I really appreciate it and you're sticking to it. I don't really have anything planned. I've been putting it off for quite a while. I think I've just been very like lazy having to come over to my apartment and grab my stuff. But it's donation day and this past weekend like I was pretty busy, which I think is one of the reasons why I was putting it off. I was working with someone that I know, he's filming a music video and I'm gonna be in it. He wanted to do a small choreography dance and then on Sunday was 4th of July, didn't really do anything and Ricardo was working so all I, we did was get ready after his work and go to a park and watch fireworks. But today is donation day, finally! Here are a few of the things that I'm gonna put on for donation. I think these boots are going. And then like I have a lot of purses and sunglasses in here as well that I'm trying to um, get rid of. It's mostly all these kitchen things that I'm trying to get rid of because it's time for them to go. I'm supposed to be moving my stuff to, for donation into my car, but I got distracted. And now I am removing the lavender from <laughs> these lavender that we picked up last month. I always do this to myself, but the good thing is that my hand smells like lavender, so I don't mind. I don't mind at all. It's just, I have to get the beads out one by one. Oh, but it smells so good. Or if what hurts me don't seem too real They lift me up through thick and thin I'm actually taking the lavender off because we got English lavender from the lavender field. That's what was growing at the time. And these English lavender, British lavender, whatever, they are useful for culinary. So you can cook with them or drink them, same thing. So recently we went to this place called Coco and Hazel and they had a lemonade drink. Actually, we went to a shop a couple weeks ago and they had a lemonade. They had a lavender lemonade drink, um, but it wasn't, I think it's because it was sugar free or something like that. It wasn't as good as we expected it to taste. So then we went to Coco and Hazel with a friend of mine. It was like a double date. We got a chocolate milkshake and we also got a lavender lemonade, which we saw online and we had to try because the first time we've had a lavender lemonade it was not as good so we tried it and it was really good and i was like we can definitely make this at home we have lavender the reason we got the lavender in the first place was because we wanted it to smell good it's supposed to have a longer lasting smell than the french french lavender but we've noticed that they don't really smell just by themselves unless you touch them so my hand my hand smells like lavender and if i Stick my nose to it, it smells like lavender, but it doesn't make the room smell like lavender. So, I guess we'll just use it for making lavender, maybe, we'll see. For my people in Richmond, or if you ever visit Richmond in Virginia, go to Coco and Hazel. Their drinks, the milkshake was really, really good. <laughs> When it's a foggy day. I sold my futon, finally it's gone. After a month, um, this is where it used to be. And now it's not there. The next thing that has to go is this bookshelf. Just need someone to take it off my hands. 
Yeah, I'm sweating. Oh my god. And now I gotta go take the things to the thrift store donation place. I'm tired. how I feel or if what hurts me don't seem to be too real they lift me up. we made it to goodwill before it closed and donated everything i was actually gonna go donate to another place that i usually go to because it's closer to my place but it was closed it closed like 18 minutes before i got there because i was in the middle of selling the futon but i got it donated I don't have everything that I'm considering. I think some of the things I want to probably give to friends if they're interested and whatever's left, we'll donate it. I have like a week left, so hopefully before we leave, I have everything like out of there. Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been pacing circles in my bedroom I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom Let me do what I do best, slow down, let me talk to you Don't tell me about your worries, I ain't staying till the afternoon I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth I loved you from a distance, now I can't even stay close to you But who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been pacing circles in my bedroom I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom Because I and you know what makes me really upset? That they're leaving. And I'm reaching my prime and they're leaving. It's okay, but I'll see them soon in Puerto Rico. Yes! It's my comfort. I am so exhausted. We did a going away party that me and Ricardo actually wanted to do. To have all our friends in one space. And, you know, we did a little grilling. But it was kind of stressful because yesterday, actually, we were finishing up some things that we had to get. We were in the parking lot and a car hit me. Like it was really bad. We were just sitting there, the car was parked, we were relaxed. All we hear is just like a screech and then the car starts jerking. Like it, it moves, you know, we're just like shocked. The bumper kind of bent and fell off and my car got onto a ledge and the car actually got on top of it and it was crooked and it kind of scratched the car that was parked next to me but it was really scary because we were just sitting there and talking getting ready to leave and that happens but the car is working perfectly fine i only got a little kind of like a burn i guess it rubbed against something and it feels like it was like a burn and then like a bruise here and it kind of hurts somewhere around here as well but Besides that, everything's fine. Everything went pretty well. It was fun. It was nice seeing most of mine and Andres' friend in one place. We had a going away party because we're actually moving to Puerto Rico. Since we're waiting for the results for JET or reapplication, we decided to move to Puerto Rico and that's where we'll be going. So for the next month and a half, we're going to be traveling to orlando california miami and then our final destination is puerto rico that's where we're going and we've known this for like like we're in july now so about a month and a half but we were just we're just telling our closest friends but yeah that was today it was fun i enjoyed it it's kind of hard when you're grilling to sit down and eat because you got to think about the chicken the meat whatever but now I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I'm not that hungry, but now I'm gonna eat. Our friends, thank you for coming. It was really nice. It's my first time ever doing something like that. I've always wanted to have a cookout, I guess, with all of my friends. And now that I'm older, uh, I felt like I could, and I did. It was a little bit of a mess, but it was really fun. And hopefully the next time I can have friends at a cookout will be at my own house. It will be less of a mess. So thank you and I really appreciate it. Hey, you call me a ring. The feelings we couldn't contain. The thoughts that we had were made. There really no one to blame. I actually think came in vain. I trust you but I was afraid. If I could I cut you, I'd tell you I need you. I wouldn't know what else to say. But who do I call if it ain't you? 
Tell me who to call if it ain't you